Oh yeah, this looks a little bit rougher up here, Marty. It does, mate. What do you reckon? Let's Can give it a crack. Go? Yeah, for sure. Okay, I'll just drop her into low range. Hubs are already in, so nice. you'll like this. Is it? These are crawler gears. The whole idea here, when you got some deep and nasty ruts like this, is to straddle them. I really believe in trying to take it as easy as possible on the machine. Yep. You know, a lot of people break things on steep slopes just from giving it too much mumbo. Just from hammering it, dropping the clutch, getting in nasty situations and using the power to break out. And that's when you do damage, that's when you break things. A little bit steep up here, Marty. Yeah, mate. Let's see if we get some altitude. You know, um, I don't mind steep uphill, but one of the tricks to it, I reckon, is to try and remember what's going on. You know, in yep. this case, we've got slopes on both sides here. This is a bit of a ridgeback. So if I have to come rolling back for some reason, I want to make sure I stay on the track. Yeah. As a rule, you normally do that. But look at this. There's a little cutout here on the side. Now, that's a really good place to remember because it's got a bit of flat in it. If we were to get this far and have to pull up, yep. first thing I'd do is back up with one of those trees behind me. Nature's handbrake. Nature's handbrake. You've got it. I love that feeling when you launch off the edge yeah. of the world. Our roller coaster. <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah, that's a bit steep. You know, a bit of a trick here with this kind of stuff. Milo's the ultimate example of it. I've actually got a hand throttle over here. And it means in a situation like this, I can set the revs, pick a gear, second gear, because this thing's got crawling gears, and let the clutch out and just let the truck work its way up. What that does essentially is it doesn't break traction. As soon yeah, as okay. you break traction, you're going to start going backwards. In a modern four wheel drive, you can get around it just by jamming your foot into the side of the car yeah, to accelerate okay. the foot. So you've got something to sort of dampen the shot. That's perfect. Yeah, it's, it's a good little move. Ah, wow, you reckon that was steep before? That's a hill. That is a hill. Now, everything I said about steady driving, take with a grain of salt, <laughs> because I can see a big dip there, and I'm going to belt it about here to get up a bit of momentum. Well, we've got some traction, just so we can scrabble up that last little bit. <laughs> wow! Everything I said about rolling backwards yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> Marty, can you just check those hubs? Yeah, mate. Was that in? No, no, we're like that. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll try that again, mate. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> How much fun is that? What are these bad boys, Ruthie? <laughs> I call them kraut rolls. Okay. Because it's got a chopped up German sausage in it. Mm -hmm. This one's actually a lime pepperoni, so it's not necessarily German. I was going to use, when I first thought this one up, I was going to use sauerkraut, but I experimented mm. and sauerkraut just didn't work, so I just used dry coleslaw and a bit of onion. I guess this is real Asian, European, Australian fusion if you wanted to nice. use a real big yeah. word for something that's really simple. Very gourmet. Oh, very gourmet, mate, very <laughs> gourmet. Try a bit of uh, yeah, a bit sweet, of sweet chilli. Load me up, mate. Yeah, Thank load you, you up. Ah, that's Thank actually you. the only thing that was missing, I reckon, was a bit of chilli, mm -hmm. and here it is. Oh, <laughs> great. It's how easy. <laughs> it's so easy, isn't mm. it? And you can make just about any different flavour you can think of. As mm. many sausages as, as there are, well, I reckon, um, as soon as we've filled up, we better hit the tracks again, eh? Yeah, mate. Looking forward to getting out there again. Oh, some nice driving around yeah. here. Great track around here.